in a lush, vibrant forest where the trees whispered secrets and the rivers sang melodies, there lived a clever little frog named Finley. Finley was known throughout the forest for his quick wit and even quicker leaps. However, there was one creature in the forest that always kept Finley on his toes, a sly fox named Renard. Renard, with his fiery fur and cunning gaze, had made it his mission to catch Finley. He admired the frog's intellect and agility, but saw it as a challenge to his own prowess. Day after day, Renard would concoct new schemes to catch Finley, but the frog always managed to hop away just in time. One sunny morning, as Finley was enjoying a leisurely swim in the pond, he overheard the birds chirping about Renard's latest plan. This time, the fox had crafted a trap so elaborate that it left little chance for escape. Finley's heart raced as he thought of the impending danger. He knew he needed a plan, and fast. As fate would have it, that very afternoon, a gentle dragon named Ember flew over the forest. Ember was a rare sight, her scales shimmering in hues of emerald and sapphire, casting dazzling reflections on the forest floor. Unlike the fearsome dragons of lore, Ember was kind-hearted and loved all the forest's creatures. Seizing the moment, Finley called out to Ember, explaining his predicament. Intrigued by the frog's dilemma and always eager to help, Ember agreed to carry Finley on her back. With the fox's trap imminent, time was of the essence. Climbing onto Ember's back, Finley felt a surge of hope. As Renard prepared to spring his trap, he was astonished to see Finley riding high above on Ember's back. The frog waved cheekily, knowing he was out of reach. Renard could only watch in disbelief as his plan unraveled. For the rest of the day, Ember and Finley soared above the forest, sharing stories and laughter, forming an unlikely friendship. When they finally landed, the sun was setting, casting a golden glow over the forest. Finley thanked Ember for her kindness, and in return, Ember promised to always watch over the forest and its creatures. From that day forward, Renard never underestimated Finley again, and the frog's legend grew even larger. In the heart of the forest, where magic and friendship intertwined, Finley's adventure was a testament to the power of ingenuity and the bonds that can form in the most unexpected of places.